this next topic, uh, Tesla AI. Here is the latest update for full self-driving and the newest roadmap. In case you missed this post from Tesla AI, they posted it on X. As October comes to a close, here's an update on the releases. Of course, they had very nice months and they actually released Cybertruck full self-driving and all the different things, including We Robot event with 50 autonomous safety vehicles transporting 2,000 passengers. What's coming next? Full rollout, rollout end-to-end highway for all AI4 users targeted for early next week. Improved version 12.5 models for AI3 city driving. That's AI. If you didn't know, AI is hardware. So hardware 3 or AI3. That's kind of like what they're changing the uh, nomenclature. Actually, smart summons released in Europe, China, and other regions. Okay, very nice. Version 13 is a package with the following major technology upgrades. 36 hertz full resolution AI4 video inputs. Native AI4 inputs in neural network architecture. 3x scale sizing, uh, scale size scaling, and a bunch, bunch more all the way down. And so very interesting to see all these different updates. And I feel like they're going to start doing this and giving you sort of what's going on and what's to come for hardware four and hardware three, full self-driving. And I got to say, I'm actually a big believer now. I was certainly somewhat against like paying all that different money for it, like the $8,000. Well, I'm still against paying $8,000, but I'm considered strongly considering now that Tesla has given us what, three months of free full self-driving driving trial on our Model X, I'm strongly considering just paying that $100 subscription because that could be worth it, especially if you're only going to be keeping the car every two to three years. Definitely some pretty interesting stuff. Let me know what your thoughts on 